Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we will be continuing our let's play of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Where we left off last time, we went into um, someone's estate and stole artifacts for a sky ship. We also helped a necromancer find a body, killed an ogre mage, and are now going to help a rogue with his quest to steal some stuff. Uh, Rodnam says, hey there pal. If you're trying to get inside the palace, you're out of luck. Common folk, or sorry, common folk aren't allowed in there. Grand dukes don't let no one in, unless there's some sort of special event going on. So now we know we're not allowed into the Duchel Palace, or Duckle Palace? I think it's Duchel Palace. That being said, we're not actually going to explore this area too much just yet. Um, I want to do this thief quest first, and it is in the northeast part of the city. I was slightly confused about where the inn was, Good but on you and yours, my friend. apparently we're being okay, talked by Razimuth. Remizith, sorry. Greetings to you and yours, friend. Might I have an ear or have your ear a moment? Uh, certainly, good sir. What is your concern? I've been watching you, but rest assured, it no be in the evil, bad eye way. You and your compatriots be so obviously. Well, I just say you look no like farmers or merchants. I have a service needing completion, and it require that which I think you have. I reward well, but the mission is dangerous and beyond what the law would technically allow. Interested, yes? Uh, what is it I will be expected to do? My proposition is thus. I would have you enter into the home of a colleague of mine and effect the release of a creature he has imprisoned there. Ragefast be his name, and he has in his possession one of the most beautiful and useful creatures in all of Faerun. It is a nymph he captured some time ago. And I know not what laughable plans he has for her, but I am sure she'd be more productive in my care. I'm not so rich as to be able to offer huge gold, but as a competent wizard, I do have the odd magical item of worth. Perhaps an enchanted item would serve your needs, no? Um, your terms are acceptable, I agree. Most agreeable. Already you show intelligence needed to succeed. I give you directions to Ragefast's abode, and you take it from there, yes? You will find Ragefast's home to the northeast of the Hall of Wonders. We will meet at my home when you complete your mission. Do not tarry, for I have many plans. Let not the guards see you with the nymph. They will surely question her presence. I will expect you soon. We'll do that quest in a little bit as well, but first off, we're going to head off to the northeast. There are a few things that we are going to be doing there. Once everyone arrives. Excellent. Everyone has shown up. There are actually two parts of the eastern, the northeastern district. There's a wall over here somewhere. You can get to that part by going north from, oops, where's my world map? From this area here, the eastern district. You go north and you can actually enter this part here. Otherwise, you'll see that there is a wall that goes across here. I don't believe there's a gate through there. I could be mistaken, however. It's been a very, very long time. Um, this is the Blushing Mermaid Inn. There are a couple of things to do in there, and we will be doing them after we help um, the thief with his quest down here. The rest of our group is actually going to stay out of sight, and Monteron is going to go on alone. You'll recall that he said that uh, everyone else should remain out of sight. We're going to quick save and talk to him. Now we're up to the business. Keep to the shadows, and the watch will be blind to our sneak. You will spy the road while Red Edge and I plunder within. Be on your cautious, and yell the warning if you see a soldier man. I'd no fight them if I were you, just call the call and make for the dark. If they give chase, you fade to black and keep quiet. Never known a guard to spot a thief, scared to hiding. Stand from here while we two are off and in. We'll be back before the gold knows it's ours. Alright, let's try this out. We're gonna go stand- oh, my whole group is standing here. That's excellent. Well, we're standing over here now, and apparently they're going to go rob the place. I actually can hide in shadows, excellent. Uh, his hide in shadows really sucks, but I think his stealth armor is giving him a little bit of a bonus. He has a 50 and 55 to move hide, or move silently and hide in shadows. Looks like we have a guard. I'm gonna say, he says, it's awful late to be out and about, citizen. Why are you not at rest? I'm gonna say, 
Here, boys, the jig is up. Make for the dark. What? Stand your ground, you thief. To arms! To arms! Luckily, I'm hidden, so... All is well. Except that he's going to find my other group members, maybe? I'm hoping he'll go away. At some point in time. I don't actually know this quest all that well. Ooh, that's no good. Well, I mean, we've done worse things than kill Flaming Fist mercenaries. You are something trumping, you. Except that I don't think we're supposed to kill him. Oh well. How much rep did we lose? Three. Ooh, that puts us as despise. I'm actually going to load our auto star quick save. And try that again. But hopefully a little bit better this time. That did not go as well as anticipated, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll try it again. It's awful late to be out and about, citizen. Why are you not at rest? Here, boys, the jig is up. Make for the dark. I'm actually going to just use an invisibility potion and get away. And we're going to try and head away without being noticed. I don't know what else we're supposed to do at this point. Um, meet back at the Thieves Guild later. Okay. So, we gave them warning and we are out of there. The guard will be gone by the next time we come back, or at least he should be. I kind of wanted to go into this place, actually. But now we have guards watching for us, so we'll go somewhere a little bit different, I guess. Um, just a couple things to note. In this house, there is a chest that is unopenable. Um, you can't use knock on it, you can't lockpick it. I honestly don't know how to get inside of it. So, that is just something to note. Uh, in this Shrine of Ilmater, there is a way down into the Undercellar at a later point in the quest line. We're pretty much actually done in this area just for the second since we can't get into the Blushing Maid. And we can't go back down to the Sturgeon at the moment. So we're going to go turn this quest in and see what there is to do next. Maybe we'll do the North District while we wait for the guard to... Uh, go away. First we'll end in this quest though. Let's head down here. So if you kill the guard, I believe you do not succeed in the quest. It is a thieves guild quest, not an assassin's guild quest, and I didn't want you to kill the guards in the first place. And that being said, it's kind of fun to blow up guards. Alright, so we're going to head in here now, maybe if my characters would, you know, path properly, you and I'm just going to use my main character because he's faster. Salted. Hmm, where did that dude go? There is Narlin right there. The there, there, good fortune of... You return to us, quite the scramble down the alleys, with no less than ten and four guards on our run and hides. Good call on that alarm of yours. Would have caught us unknown, unknown wise without you. Had enough time to bail the room with golden pockets. We have three hundred gold to divvy. None too bad a haul, but a mere pittance stacked aside the next dark's targi. You in with us again? Um, exciting work like none other. I'm raring for another grasp at careless gold. Tis so for me in Red Edge. The mark tonight is a right plum for plucking, and a mite more dangerous. No petty gold, cause you passed that intro. This dark holds a jewel fence, with pretties brought stolen from Waterdeep. A mage of meager power called for a component gem called the Rogue Stone, and Gentilandin answered. His home be our target, but he be a side more cagey than last. We join at dusk by the blade and stars to sort the deed. So I think we got some experience for that. No, we didn't. We just got some gold. Excellent. We actually spent more in invisibility potions than we did in actual gains, but oh well. 
So next dusk, we're going to go meet up with them. For now, we're going to head off to the North District, where there are quite a few things to do. Boop. And there we go. So we have arrived. It takes zero hours to wander anywhere in Baldur's Gate, so feel free to transition as much as you want. Um, let's see. So we got that guy. He talked to us about the Duchel Palace. In this house, there are some bolts plus one. We're not going to bother with those. No one in our group uses crossbows. Um, this house, I believe, has a quest for us. Rinny. I've been working on a ballad about the unicorn run in High Forest. I'd like to use a more reliable source than simply hearsay and folklore, though. If you find an authoritative history on the run in your travels, I'd love to get my hands on it. She wants a book called the... Um, oh, what's it called? The History of the Unicorn Run. We will be getting it a little bit later. There's a young girl named Petrine here. Hi, I'm Petrine and my folks aren't around no more. I ran away from my uncle Baron because he's real mean. My cat's an, really an angel, though. She protects me when bad things happen. Or at least she did. I can't find her now, though. I think she went back to my uncle's to get her ring. There's this ring that she loves to play with, but when I ran away, I had to leave it at my nasty uncle's. If you could just get me the ring, I'm sure Angel would come back. Could you do it? Oh, please? This is one of the more evil quests we can do. Um, this one I actually do feel legitimately bad about despite the fact that this is a game. Baron says damnable cat. I'll give you the cloak off my bat if you can kill the pesky thing. We are going to kill the pesky thing. I'm on it. Goodbye Angel. That pretty much makes us a monster. Um, just hands down a monster. There's a ring in here too. It is Angel the Cat's Angel Skin Ring. There's no point in grabbing it because you can't really sell it, I don't think. And the cat will no longer be coming with us. Yes. The Heron usually says, um, I'm not usually a man who honors his words too much, but you wouldn't believe how glad I am to be rid of that crazy cat. Here, take my cloak and good riddance. I feel a little bit bad about that. That is the evil way to go about the quest. The good way to go about it is to bring the cat or the ring back to um, the girl. If you do it this way, do not talk to her. You will lose reputation unless you really want to lose reputation. We're just going to wander away and pretend that that never happened. We're now cat killers. Tick says, hey, you look like sewer running types if ever I saw any. What do you mean? Sewer running, kiddo. Taking a crawl through the urban man's dungeon, all right? Every man's dungeon, is it? Why don't you show us how to get in? No sense in me showing you. Their engines is all over the place. Just look for the sewer gratings. Most of them pop right up and you can shimmy on down, man. As I said, every man's dungeon. He just tells us that there's generally stuff to do in the uh, sewers. Not gonna worry about that too much yet. But whatever. Um... There's a couple more things to do in this area. Uh, this is a gate that leads north to Waterdeep. We can't actually go through it. Or, yeah, Waterdeep. Can't actually go through it. It's unimportant at this point in time, so... Well, actually, it's just unimportant in general. It's just kind of a neat tidbit of information. Uh, I believe this is a Temple of Helm? Yes. So this is a Temple of Helm. It is just a generic temple, although it looks really cool. We don't really need to go into it. And so we're going to do a little break and enter in this area. There are a couple houses that have some neat things inside of it. First up is this one. Drelkin says, or yeah, Drelkin, Drelik? Drelik says, You shouldn't have broken into my master's home. Master Jarladak will be quite displeased when he learns that ruffians had disturbed the order of his house. Who the hell are you and why are you dressed in such silly colors? My name is Drelik, but really... My name or the clothes I choose to wear are of no consequence. Of con er, of no consequence. A consequence here is that you have broken into my master's house and made a mess. I think I'll have to clean up the mess permanently. He actually can cast some spells, but we're going to kill him. He's not particularly hard, but I don't want my uh, mages to die against him. 
He's got a lot of hit points, surprisingly. 1200 experience and a short sword plus one. He also has monster summoning plus one, or monster summoning one and dire charm. We're gonna grab those spells. I actually should have learned my monster summoning spells that I picked up at the magic shop. Here they are. Okay, I'm gonna save and try and learn these really quickly. Yay, that worked. I'm gonna quick save again. I don't want uh, Zara to have minute meteors. I'm gonna give those to Edwin. And I'm gonna save again. Monster summoning one complete. That is going to be a very useful spell for later on. And Mel Smith's or minute meteors are pretty great. So he has those as well. Let's see what is in chest number one. It is locked, is it trapped? Doesn't look like it. Just some gold. This fight upstairs is actually kinda hard. He hits very hard. Um, Jardex says, what have you done? My butler, my butler would not have let you come up here unless you killed him. Pathetic wretches, do you know what you've done? Your screams will echo in hell for all eternity for your insolence. Who are you and where did you get that cool armor? Hmm, at least you could have better fashion sense than your butler. At least you have fa better fashion sense than your butler. You don't understand the gravity of the situation. Stinking brizen, brigands, draw steel that we may fight to the death. He actually is a pretty good fighter. We are going to use up a few of our precious spells. And I think that should be good enough to take him, take him down without wasting any more spells. Yeah. Alright, so 3600 experience. He has a cool helmet and some magical armor. I think the helmet is a helm of command, but we'll uh, check that out later. Where did the armor go? Oh no, sorry, sword. It's just a sword plus one. Uh, we'll loot his house. I don't think there's anything of value in here. Just six gold. All right. Time to leave. We just executed two people for no reason. Do I feel bad about this? Not really. I mean... Yeah, not really. <laughs> okay, so... There is a boy in this house. Um, In this house, I believe... All oh, right, these are these houses. Um, these houses have a couple of potions you can pick up. This one, and I believe this one. That being said, the guards are summoned in both situations. So if you don't want to have guards on you, don't worry about it. Uh, this house is also guarded fairly well. As is this house. So we're not going to stop any into the, or into any of those houses. Um, we're going to stop by a tavern in the area. And there's actually a man over here no who will talk to us. To oh, how I wish this horrid iron crisis would end. I bought a new mirror the other day and I swear the frame shattered before the glass. Honestly, I don't know how we nobles are supposed to keep ourselves alive in this environment. Breaking a mirror. I'm actually going to say, there's more to this iron crisis than your petty vanity. No, there isn't. Now, good day and goodbye. What a pompous dick. Nobles, much like in real life with rich people, are so far removed from the realities of the world that... It's just kind of sad. But what can you do about it, right? Alright, we're going to be talked to by... Bellamy, I have been sent to warn you and your party of... Fandlin. He is a powerful paladin here in the city, and he poses a great danger to you. I would suggest that you avoid him altogether. I'm going to say, where is this Fandlin you speak of? You can usually find him in one of the taverns close to the docks, but I don't recommend you do. If you have business there, I suggest you do it after sundown. We're actually going to go find that paladin and kill him at some point. Um, Leave us alone, will you? Nothing for you here. There's apparently someone who wants to talk to us. Let's find him. Ship says, you stink like the adventuring rogues that you are. Well, it would be fun to kill him. I know that you shouldn't, so. Um. And you have the sense about you of a peasant knave. Now I ask you, which of us smells the sweeter? Sweetness is best judged by those around you. My cows and horses know my scent and snuggle close to it and share it. But you surround yourself with monsters, and they crowd close only to extinguish your fetid wafts and purge them with a slow turn of the spit. 
Hi then, there be firm proof that between our stenches, mine be far more the tolerable. What a dick. He's more of a dick than the nobleman, and he's a peasant. So, we learned something today. Even poor people can be assholes. Let's go upstairs. Um, there's a woman named Ithtil here. I trust your stay will be a restful one. We serve as a refuge away from the hectic life on the road. I'm going to say... And what of you? You look to be quite the lusty wench. How about you serve as my refuge away from the ugly faces of my fellows? Flattering though, I think the low lantern might have the staff more accommodating of your needs. We cater more to the mature adventurer. It is up to you whether you'd fit that description. Well, she didn't go for my sweet, sweet pickup line. Oh well. Um, what else do we have in here? Uh, there's a painting in this area. I remember. I think it's that one. It has a skull inside of it, which may sound strange to you, but we're going to grab it. It is for a quest. You right, we will be so doing it a little bit later as well. And now we are up to the third floor. And I can't remember what actually is up here on the third floor, to be honest with you. I think that there's nothing, I'm on it. but let's find out. We'll go wandering around. Can't hurt. Oh no, there is one person in here of note, actually. Ariana is here. How dare you barge into my room? I will have you leave at once. Wait. Perhaps, perhaps you are the type of people who can help me. I am in need of someone to perform a service for me. I need someone removed. Um, I f You wish someone disposed of. I'll not have a part in the killing of innocents. Why should he deserve death? That's not true. I'll kill anybody, realistically. That's None of those are what my character would have said. This scoundrel is not innocent. He threatens to ruin my life with, with the spreading of accusations. He threatens to ruin my reputation and standing unless I pay him an exorbitant sum almost weekly. I beg thee, you must help me. If he is a weekly drain on your finance, you must be willing to invest, a, invest heavily in his removal. What will be my reward? You are very blunt, though I suppose that is to be expected. If gold is that much of a concern to you, you should have it in abundance. I shall pay you 2,000 gold for your trouble. His name is Sir Demac, which you may have recalled is the man we are going to go kill, or that we did kill earlier before retconning it, and he frequents the Elfsong Tavern. I have heard it is a rough place, and one could likely commit the deed even in the main room with nary a guard called. Please hurry. That is a sufficient reward. I shall return with his head as proof of the deed. I have no bloodthirsty monster. What use would I have for such a grisly trophy? Just do the do job and leave all of his parts at the scene. Right, We're actually going to go do that quest right away. Right, what's this we do have a little bit of time before the end of this video. Right. Apparently we left Edwin down here. He was just chilling. Maybe having a glass of fine red wine to go with his red robes. And his Thavian descent. Sorted. After this quest... um. Sorted. We should be at the end of the video, and we will be moving on with the Nymph quest line. Or perhaps we'll go do the Thief quest line. One of the two. Um, I haven't quite decided yet. So let's go take care of this small problem. He is at which inn? I think it's this one down here. I think he's at the Elf Song Tavern? I know that she just mentioned where he was, and now I can't remember it for the life of me. Actually, let's just look it up. Uh, none of those contract killing. There we go. Ah, uh, Elf Song Tavern. Yep, I was right. Okay, good. We'll go kill him. Shouldn't be too difficult. And then that might be the end of the video. Actually, we'll go turn it in. We are going to do the evil roots of this quest. Um, there are a couple ways you can go about it. You can kill him and then take the reward and go. Or you can become the new blackmailer once you get the information that he has. Which is the way we are going to do it. Because we are bad people. I think we lose more reputation. And actually, our reputation is getting pretty low. We are almost at the point where guards will be spawning in every area we are in. Um, can I help you, friend? If not, please do not hesitate to get out of my face. You are interrupting my fun. I'll interrupt your life. Here's a message from a lady friend of yours. 
I trust you mean Ariana. I would not I would not have thought her capable of hiring someone to kill me, especially such a trite issue such as this. A simple tryst in the undercellar and she is prepared to pay me for weeks on end. The nobles are such prudes when it comes to one of their numbers slumming with a common sneaksman. No matter, I will kill you and then I shall double how much I demand. Whatever. You will not be killing me. So we killed him. We're going to grab his sword, which is a magical sword. Salted. And we are going to leave. And we now know about her tryst in the Undercity. That is very naughty indeed. And we are going to use that to our advantage. Um, so when you start to blackmail her, you can go there every week to pick up money from her. She is actually going to hire some mercenaries to kill us though. Which works well for us. It's worth some experience. I don't know if we lose rep for this though, and if we do lose rep, maybe what I'll do is just do the normal bounty. I don't want to lose too much more rep because it's going to make the game rather troublesome for us. And it kind of gets annoying at that point in time. Basically friendly, or not friendly Armin, um, Flaming Fist mercenaries will start spawning for you everywhere. So you'll be forced to kill them. Also, a large amount of people won't talk to you. You're declared like public enemy number one. And it just makes the game sort of annoying to play. I think that we're just going to do this the normal bounty way. I kind of... We'll quick save before going to do it. That way we can determine whether or not we lose reputation for this. I would like to do it the evil way, as that is probably what our group would do. But from a gameplay perspective, it's not exactly worth it at times. Okay, I'm gonna quick save, go take a look at what she says. If we lose rep, then we'll just reload. Have you... have you done it? Is he... The fool is dead, milady. He will trouble you no more. Oh, that is perfect. Wonderful. All that is left to do is pay you for your trouble. I fear that I am unable to give you the money I promised, however. Please forgive me, but I was desperate and you seemed preoccupied with gold. I figured that I must offer a large sum to get the deed done. I apologize, but I have just 500 gold to give you. I'm going to say... Um, no matter, I have other plans that shall make up the difference in the long term. I will take your 500, but I demand 500 more every two days. If I do not receive it, people will hear of your murderous ways. What? You know better than... I suppose I should have seen it in your eyes when we first met. It would seem I was better off with the devil I knew. Very well, there is little I can do to stop you. I shall be here promptly every two days. Did we lose rep? Nope, perfect. Okay, so we will go get our money every two days from her. I'm on it. Right, what's this then? Right, what's this then? She will end up firing bounty hunters to kill us, actually. I'm actually going to end the video here. We will be doing the Thief's Quest next time. I believe it's in the eastern section, or western section, I should say. Or the northwestern section. I'll look into that before the next video, just so that I can streamline this process. I just can't remember that quest very well. My name has been Eltamar. My name has been Eltamar. My name is Eltamar, and it has been an honor doing this Let's Play for you guys. I hope to see you guys next time, and if you have any suggestions, please leave them below.